I'm back with the Halloween theme readings. Welcome, beautiful souls, to Star Child Tarot. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're an existing subscriber, thanks for your support. And for the rest of October, I'm just doing mini Halloween love readings um, by um, Element. So we're doing fire signs. So Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So we're just going to have a quick look at your love life around Halloween. So what does Aries need to know right now? What does Aries need to know right now about their love life? What does Aries need to know? So we've got heartbreak. So I'm sorry about that. It's not a very good start there. And we've got white witch magic. Childhood crush. Passion. Forgive, do not hold on to a grudge. And all black magic could love. Wow. So yeah, you've been through some sort of heartbreak here in your life. Um, so yeah, you could have, you know, had a loss in your life. And, or a loss of a relationship and we've got the white with magic so I feel maybe you're both focusing on um, manifesting you know good good luck a change in fortune maybe using um, Wiccan magic candle magic some sort of rituals but it's all to the good it's all positive with that white witch magic and we've got childhood crush here so maybe you're reminiscing about a childhood crush or there's somebody from your past is going to return. And we've got passion coming in here for you. And we've got forgive, do not hold on to a grudge. So whoever hurt you, um, just forgive. You know, forgive yourself, forgive others. You know, really just release. And that will enable new things to come in, new people. And we have got this message that old black magic called love. So there is love coming towards you here. Okay, love and connection coming towards you. So I'm using my um, Magic Love Oracle and my Witch Tarot. Tarot of the Witch, actually. So let's clarify these energies. So what's this heartbreak about? Yeah, we've got Five of Daggers. So it left you feeling defeated. You know, you, you were really feeling not good at all. Um, we've got Devil Energy with that as, as well you know there could have been negative behaviors addictions around that connection um not a positive connection um for whatever was happening there so what's this white witch magic white witch magic talking about here yeah we've got five of cauldrons five of cups sadness disappointment in love but we've got the ace of coins as well so there's definitely a brand new star a brand new offer coming towards you and we've got child of cross and we've got two of cups here so there is some love there is somebody coming towards you i mean for some it could be a childhood crush um or someone from the past and for others it, it could be somebody new okay and there's passion coming towards you it's going to be very passionate connection fire energy obviously for fire signs here there's a lot of fire a lot of passion here but there's mutual love because we've got the two of cups. So it's not just about the passion. Yeah, we've got a brand new passionate beginning here. So there's a brand new start in love for you coming towards you. And it's asking you to forgive. Yeah, we've got the Hierophant energy. So do spiritual practice, do spiritual work. And this is somebody that you could possibly end up having a commitment with, with that Hierophant energy. And we've got the love energy there. As I say, the chariot energy. So this connection will move forward quickly. And yeah, after a period of feeling with the star energy, wishes fulfilled, this is a manifestation coming coming towards you here. You've been manifesting this, a new beginning in love, and it's going to move forward quickly with that chariot. Who is this connection with? Can you tell us? Wow, ten of cups. So yeah, it's it's definitely going to lead to a relationship. And we've got the Knight of Coins energy there. So Earth Sign energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And you're in your, they see you as their Empress, okay? They see you as their Empress. 
so absolutely beautiful energies so there is something positive but do that work on yourselves let go and forgive to enable this fresh beginning to come towards you so love and blessings hello we're back with the uh, um the fire signs we're back with leo so we're going to have a look and see what is happening in leo's love life around halloween these are just mini reads for the rest of october what does leo need to know about love so we've got divine time in here. I love you. Honest deep chats. Fly high in love. Sensual love. dark desires so it's all about divine timing for you and we've got I love you so this is a connection where you know feelings are involved okay this is not just going to be a casual thing and you're going to be able to have honest open chats with this person you really be able to share yourselves and you're going to feel good with this love fly high in love it's going to really raise your vibration and you're going to set, share essential loving times and dark desires. So very passionate connection. Okay. So that, um, this is for Leo. Okay, let's clarify with the tarot. So what's this divine timing about here? What's divine timing about? Well, we've got Ace of Daggers. So once you see the truth, once you see the clarity within your own mind about yourself or a situation, okay, divine timing is activated. And it's about love. And we've got Eight of Wands. So, yeah, there's messaging, there's communication, fast, you know, fast communication with you and another person. So what else can you tell us? We've got the Warlock of Daggers, which is the Knight of Swords. So this, you, if you're a feminine watching this, this, this is a masculine energy. It could be younger than you. Sword energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is somebody that's not really in their feelings, usually. They're in their mind, they're in their intellect. But I feel... Something about you is going to trigger a lot of passion and love in this person. And you're both going to feel it. It's mutual. You're both going to be on a high. You know, that, that rush you get when you, you first fall in love. Yeah, we've got the temperance. So it's very balanced connection. You balance each other out. And you're going to have that passionate, sensual connection. And we've got the high priestess energy. So connect with your own intuition. Follow your own guidance here about this connection. We've got dark desires. Six of coins. Again, very balanced energy. A lot of give and take in this connection. You balance each other out. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us? We've got moon energy, so, you know, the powerful moon energies, and we've got a powerful eclipse coming up soon. So it could be around that time that you meet this person. We've got four of daggers, so after a period of healing, you know, of time alone, um, what do you call it, contemplation as I say you're going to see the truth, it's all about timing so when the time is right you will meet each other so at the moment you could be on a pause about moving forward 
So who is this person? Can you tell us any more about this? We've got the Knight of Coin, uh, Knight of Swords. Yeah, you know, it's divine. It's just confirming that divine timing, and we've got death, death card here, a uh, Santa Maria death card, like transformation. So you, you've been going through a transformation, or you will be, and that's when you're going to meet this person when you come out the other side, basically. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Hello, we're back with Sagittarius. So we're going to look at the Halloween messages, love messages for Sagittarius. So what does Sagittarius need to know around the end of October time? What does Sagittarius need to know? So we've got lustful feelings here. Caught in a spider's web. Getting to know each other. Somebody's missing you. Healing your heart. French kissing. So we've got lustful feelings here. So somebody's um, stirring those lustful feelings in you. And you feel caught in a spider's web. You can't escape these feelings. There's like a magnetic pull towards each other. And you want to get to know each other. You want to get closer. And when you're apart, you really miss each other. So it's a very deep connection. And you're going to help each other's heart to heal here. And you're going to enjoy lots of kissing. Okay, you're really going to enjoy kissing each other there. Okay, let's clarify with the tarot. So what's this lustful feelings about? Lustful feelings about. We've got seven of cauldrons. So, you know, this these feelings could take over your brain. You know, your feelings, you're feeling emotional. You're feeling um, confused in a, in a haze, in a, in a love daze. And we've got the king of cups energy. So it's not just about love, okay? This person could be a water sign that you're connecting with. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just in their feelings, really strong emotions, really feeling that love and lust. And this, this magnetic attraction between you. And with the full energy, you just want to take a leap together. You just want to take that leap, leap right into this connection and get really get to know each other. And we've got the sun, and you bring each other joy and happiness. How beautiful is that? And we've got judgment energy. So this, for some, it could be a reconciliation, but for others, it's destiny. This is somebody that you were destined to meet, and you're going to help each other's heart heal. And we've got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's, you've both been through heartbreak. You've both been through difficult times in your own lives, and the Ten is the end of that, okay? And again, Three of Cauldrons, it can be a reconciliation, but good times as well coming in. You know, good times coming in towards you. Wanting to celebrate each other. Wanting to celebrate this connection. And lots of kissing. You know, wanting to kiss each other. And we've got the Wands energy. King of Wands. So for some you're connecting with a fellow fire sign. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But it's, it's just talking about the love and passion. There's love and passion here. I feel that's the main thing. Yeah, Ace of Cauldrons, Ace of Cups, brand new beginning of, in love and the world. So this is a whole new phase of your life. Okay, a new loving phase of your life. With, an, with this person that you feel this magnetic pull to, bringing each other love and happiness and passion so i'm going to leave it there love and blessings